Removing stubborn stains, debris, and paint are just a few of the challenges pressure washers face in Consumer Reports testing labs. We also measure how much power and pressure each one delivers, rate them on how easy they are to use, and even check noise levels. This guide will arm you with expert advice to pick a pressure washer that best suits the jobs around your house. Plus, Consumer Reports has important safety tips you need to know before using any pressure washer. Subscribers to our website can access our specific brand recommendations and exclusive product ratings. This video is interactive, so click any chapter to skip around. Pressure washers use a gas engine or electric motor to power a pump, which forces water at high pressure through a nozzle. And now for a brief science lesson. The amount of power a pressure washer can deliver is measured in PSI. That stands for pounds per square inch. Generally, for cleaning hard surfaces like concrete and tough stains, you'll want about 2,000 to 3,000 PSI. Cleaning a deck, siding, or patio furniture requires less power, about 1,500 PSI. Pressure washers come with either interchangeable nozzles or a wand tip that you can adjust to different angles. Adjustable wand tips are more convenient, but nozzles give you specific angles. Those angles usually range from a wider 65-degree angle to a very narrow 0-degree angle. No matter which spray setting you use, a misplaced jet of water could land you or a bystander in the emergency room. Consumer Reports no longer recommends pressure washers that come with nozzles or wands that produce sprays of 15 degrees or less. We're particularly concerned with the 0-degree angle spray. It's typically a red nozzle that concentrates all the machine's power into a single pinpoint blast with surprisingly strong cutting capabilities. Consumer Reports believes pressure washers should not come with this attachment or setting. Plus, our tests find wider angle nozzles can get the job done. We recommend buying one without a zero degree nozzle, not using that setting, or discarding the nozzle after purchase. Now you'll need to choose whether you want an electric or gas powered pressure washer. Consumer Reports tests find electric pressure washers can handle most jobs around the home. They're relatively light and they cost the least. Plus they're quieter than gasoline powered washers. And because there's no fuel, you can store electric pressure washers indoors. There are some downsides though. You should never use an extension cord with a pressure washer, so your job must be near a power source, about 50 feet. Electric pressure washers generally deliver about half as much power as gasoline models. But Consumer Reports test find it's not that an electric pressure washer can't handle tough jobs, it just takes them longer. If removing tough, stubborn stains and debris fast is your goal, or if your jobs are far from a power source, then consider a gas-powered pressure washer. These pump out the highest PSI, typically 25 to 3,500. However, that power comes with a higher price tag compared to electric models, and lots more noise. Gasoline-powered models also produce carbon monoxide, so they should never be used in a garage, basement, or other enclosed area. Never store a gasoline-powered pressure washer inside your home. There are a few features to look out for when shopping. Cord storage instead of wrangling a knotted mess. Wheels are a plus for heavier models. Ones with good balance like this you can push off with just one foot are convenient. Some pressure washers offer soap tanks to hold cleansers, so you don't have to use a separate container. Remember, pressure washers are powerful tools and can damage surfaces, so follow the manufacturer's instructions. Always begin with the widest spray angle and start your spraying from at least two feet away and move in slowly. Wear safety goggles and protective shoes. And never point the pressure washer at yourself, others, or pets. No matter which type of pressure washer you choose, if you'll be storing it outdoors in colder months, you'll need to winterize it. That means you'll need to add antifreeze to the pump and drain the hose and wand. Now that you've got the basics, visit ConsumerReports.org to subscribe and find our specific pressure washer ratings based on our in-depth, expert testing. We're a not-for-profit and we pay for all of the items we test. Thanks for your support.